Hey fellow SweetScript developers, Eric from Stoic Software here again. In this video, we continue our exploration of NetSuite searches by looking at a more general NetSuite concept called the mainline search filter. Now to coincide with this series of videos on searching, I have also created a series of cookbooks focused on searching. So if you are tired of NetSuite's unrealistic, often broken examples, then these cookbooks are definitely for you. Uh, you will find a link to all the details on the cookbooks at the top of the video description. All right, let's get started. The mainline filter is an extremely important concept to grasp in order to build effective transaction searches in NetSuite. Now, our exploration today does not require a lot of code, um, we'll pretty much be exclusively demonstrating this behavior uh, in the UI. Now, before we define what mainline is, let's start with a demonstration of NetSuite's default behavior for transaction searches, as it can actually be quite confusing. First, let's start by looking at the list of all the sales orders in this account by going to transactions, sales, enter sales orders, list. You can see I have a total of 635 sales orders at the moment. Now, what happens if we search for all the sales orders in this account. I'm gonna open up a sales order search. I'm not going to add any other filters to it. And I only care about a few fields. So here I get 2,473 results. Now how is that possible? If we look at these search results a little bit closer, we can clearly see what look like repeated results. So several results share the same internal ID. So these first four all have the internal ID of 18. They all have the same document number. Uh, so they look like repeated results. Uh, what's going on here? This is where we need to introduce the mainline filter. So by default, in transaction search results, NetSuite includes both the body and the line level data for each transaction. Each line on the transaction gets its own search result. A main line is a search filter available on transactions that lets us control this default behavior. So it gives us the means to specify whether we want both levels of data, only the body data, or only the line data. When we looked at this list of all the sales orders in the account, so not the search, but just the list, uh, NetSuite was showing us just the body level data. So there are 635 sales orders, thus there are 635 sales order bodies. When we did our subsequent search, we did not specify a mainline filter, so NetSuite was showing us all 635 bodies plus all of their line items as well. And so that is what's causing the discrepancy in the numbers. So if we want to get our two lists to match up, what we need to do is add a mainline filter to our search so that it only shows us the body level data. So in our searches criteria, we find the mainline filter. The mainline filter is considered a checkbox, so we can specify it as true or yes, uh, which means checked or we can specify it as false or no uh, or unchecked. So in this case, we want only the body level data. So we're going to set it to yes. And 
And now we can see that our number of results matches the number of sales orders that are actually in the account. So what happens if we reverse that filter? Now, each search result represents a single line on a sales order, but there are no individual results representing the body of any sales order. So notice our number of results now, 1,838. If we take that number, uh, which is the number of results when mainline is false, plus the number of results when mainline was true, which was 635, we get the exact same number of results we had when we didn't specify mainline. So 635 plus 1,838 gives us 2,473, which is what we saw when we did not specify mainline initially. Let's examine mainline's behavior again by building a search that only retrieves data from a single sales order. So here is a sales order with three line items, and its internal ID is 1355. What we wanna do is add a filter on the internal ID so that we are only getting results from a single transaction. When mainline is not specified, we get five results. One for the body, and one for each uh, line level data. Go back to our search and, turn, and change mainline to true. When mainline is true, we get one result for the body of the transaction. And because I am only retrieving body level data, what happens if I try to add line level data to my results? Let's add a search column for quantity, which is a line level field. When we run the search, you can see that the quantity column is empty. This is because we've filtered out all of the line level data using mainline and quantity is not available at the body level. And when we switch mainline to false, we will get our line level data, uh, one for each line and none for the body. You'll also notice that now the quantity level is, or quantity column rather, is populated. And note further that the body level fields do still populate regardless of whether mainline is true or false. And you'll notice one of these quantities is negative one. That uh, result is coming from not the item sublist, but a different sublist. So it's a different uh, line level data. There are several other filters similar to mainline we can use to filter out which sublists uh, our search results include data from. So transaction searches will include data from the items sublist, from the shipping sublist, from the COGS or cost of goods sold sublist, and from the tax sublist. If we specify all of those uh, filters, they all act as checkboxes. So if we specify them all as false, we should now only get data from the items sublist. So now we have each of our results uh, from the items sublist and nowhere else. So that negative one quantity has fallen off 
of our search results. Now we only need to specify these uh, other filters if mainline is false as well. If mainline is true, these other filters will have no impact on the results as we are, we won't be getting any sublist data at all because mainline is true. To recap quickly, when mainline is not specified, which is the default behavior for transaction searches, our results will include both body and line level data for each matching transaction. When mainline is true, the results will only include the body level data. And when mainline is false, the results will only include line level or sublist level data. Now in SweetScript, the mainline filters ID is mainline, all one word, and works like any other checkbox filter. So if we look for all sales orders and only the body level data, we get our 635 results. We run that same search with mainline false. We get our 1838, just like we did in the UI. And if we don't specify mainline at all, there is our 2473, just like we saw previously. Now, as you can see, the mainline filter can be a bit confusing, uh, but it is critical to building useful and effective, uh, accurate searches in NetSuite. So if you're looking to accelerate your mastery of searching in NetSuite, make sure you check out the cookbooks link down in the video description. That's it for this lesson. If you liked what you saw, hit that thumbs up button and go share what you learned with somebody else. Um, click subscribe to stay tuned to all of our videos on SweetScript. And thanks for watching. Keep learning, keep sharing, and I will see you next time.